then they died in Birmingham. September 15, 1963. In Birmingham, Alabama, a tragedy that galvanizes America's civil rights movement. Four black girls are killed when a bomb explodes during Sunday services at the 16th Street Baptist Church. Three Ku Klux Klansmen are eventually convicted for their roles in the blast. 2005, weeks after Hurricane Katrina slams into the Gulf Coast, President George W. Bush speaks from storm-ravaged New Orleans. He acknowledges Washington's failures in responding adequately to the disaster and urges Congress to approve a massive reconstruction program. When the federal government fails to meet such an obligation, I, as president, am responsible for the problem and for the solution. 1935. Nazi Germany enacts the Nuremberg Laws, depriving German Jews of their citizenship. The laws, which also adopt the swastika as Germany's official symbol, are a major step on the road to the Holocaust. 1950. During the Korean War, American-led forces under the United Nations banner stage a daring landing at Incheon. The amphibious assault behind enemy lines leads to the liberation of South Korea's capital, Seoul, from the Communist North. 1776. British forces occupy New York during the American Revolution. They remain for the next seven years until the United States achieves its independence. 1890. Agatha Christie, the mystery writer whose works include Murder on the Orient Express, is born in Torquay, Devon, England. And 1946. We all have a violent demon, all of us. I mean, some more receded than others, but it's there. Oliver Stone, movie director and screenwriter, is born in New York City. Among his films, Platoon, JFK, Natural Born Killers, and Born on the Fourth of July. Today in History, September 15th, Tim McGuire, The Associated Press.